So Larry, I told you I had a surprise for you. Remember this? Well, you guys know, Larry sent me beers. What year was it? 2012. But I had moved, temporarily moved into an apartment. Uh, and these came in while I was at that apartment. And this house was just beginning to be built. Actually, it hadn't started being built yet. But the plans were, were in the planning phase. Um, so it was so busy that I couldn't get to these. And we packed up. We packed things in boxes, and then we moved here. And then a lot of stuff, once we had what we needed, a lot of the boxes went, we didn't even look at them. They went right into, uh, like under the stairs. And then when I did the basement bar project, I had to pull everything out to do the work. And so I finally decided to start going through these boxes. And I found your beers. And I was like, holy crap. I completely forgot about them. But then I couldn't do anything about it because I was doing the bar project. And I said, well, I'll, I'll do this review after the bar project was done. Anyway, here we go. Larmo, four years later, your raspberry wheat. Oh, well, that was on there, good. Okay. Well, it had plenty of time to settle clear. I'll leave the trays behind. You bottle conditioned. You did not bottle condition this time. It was spilled right to the top. So you must use a beer gun or a beer wand of some sort. Wow. Okay, so the raspberry is very clear and evident. Almost, it's like raspberry Kool-Aid is what I'm smelling. Very clean. Remember, this beer is four years old, people. <laughs> yeah, it's like you use raspberry Kool-Aid. I'd be interested uh, in to know what you would use to uh, flavor this, aroma this. Not much head, but it was a little bit. I'm not getting any other crazy flavors, just the raspberry. I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting some sort of um, malty flavor there. Not the raspberry so much, but a little bit of fruit, something. And I can't put my, yeah, you know, one would assume it's raspberry. But it doesn't really taste like raspberry. It tastes like um, a little bit of malt. Yeah, it is four years old, so I don't know how much has changed since then. It's not. It's uh, certainly very, very good. I'm just trying to put my finger on what I'm, what I'm tasting. <coughs> There's no bitter aftertaste at all. I can't get over the aroma. It's like you use um, raspberry Kool-Aid. Uh, yeah. So a little malty backbone, a little fruit twang of some sort, but it, it's uh, it's kind of overpowered by the uh, by the malt. Um, clear the bell though. You can see, you can see in there. I don't know if you can. So yeah, I can raise some up. Okay, well, that's pretty good. Um, I'd be interested to know what you uh, flavored that with. All right, Larry, thanks for that beer. I have one more I found, too. It was your pale ale from four years ago. I'll hit, I'll hit that at some point. Thanks again, Larry.